This is a Barbie and Princess Baking Challenge. Anna and Elsa compete to see who can make the best unicorn cake. Oh, oh no, my chocolate! <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Baker or Faker, the only baking competition where you at home are the real winners. I'm your host, Avery. And I'm Doug. We take ordinary people and challenge them to recreate the most incredible desserts for a chance to win $10,000. Well, Doug, today's show is going to be a little bit different. Our contestants are anything but ordinary. Please give a warm welcome to Princess Anna and Princess Elsa. I actually don't want to nitpick or anything, but I am now Queen Anna of Arendelle. I'm no longer a princess. But that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Exactly. Doesn't matter. Okay, Doug, be nice. Why don't we show the contestants what they'll be making today? I'm always nice, Avery. Today, our contestants will be making this charming and whimsical unicorn cake. They will start by making a vanilla cake and then decorating with vanilla buttercream and fondant ears and horn. You will have one hour to complete this unicorn cake. Good luck today, bakers. You're going to need it. Wait, what? And your time starts now. I don't know why I even signed up for this. I hate baking. I'm a little disappointed they didn't give us a recipe with chocolate. Mmm, chocolate. Anyway, I'm pretty confident I know what I'm doing. I watched the Arendelle and stuff bake all the time as a kid. I sadly didn't have much else to do. So I'm just gonna mix a bunch of this white stuff with some of that other white stuff and then throw in some color and voila, a beautiful cake. Here we go, Avery. The false confidence is starting pretty early today. Um, excuse me, excuse me, hi. Is using magic not allowed or is it just frowned upon? Both. Okay, bummer, that's what I figured. This is so easy and so much fun. It's like making a big science experiment. Well, Doug, this is a first. Anna seems to have grabbed all of the white ingredients she could find and is over there furiously mixing it up. There's a stand mixer right in front of her and yet she's mixing by hand with a ladle of all things. And are those decorative eyeballs over there? I know they're white, but I hope she's not putting them in the cake. Well, either way, she's moving along a lot faster than Elsa. Oh, poor Elsa. She looks very confused reading those instructions. I don't think she started anything yet. Oh, I wish there was like a phone a friend option in this show. I don't know what these ingredients are. I have no idea what they even look like. Anna, what are you doing? I'm making my cake, duh. I'm gonna put it in the oven. It kind of looks weird. I don't think the palace staff ever did it this way, but I, I think it'll be okay. Here, take some of my ingredients. Thanks, Anna, you're a lifesaver. Hey, which one is flour and which one is sugar? Oh, um, I, I don't really think it matters. It's not like baking needs to be exact. Baking is in the eye of the beholder. Um, at least I think that's a real saying. I, I really have to get my cake in the oven now. Well, that is absolute nonsense. Baking does need to be exact. And baking being in the eye of the beholder, what does that even mean? I have no idea, Avery. There's a lot to unpack with these two. Well, I guess I'll take Anna's approach and just start mixing. Okay, cake's in the oven, so now I need to start my buttercream. Bakers, you have 30 minutes left. 30 minutes. Elsa, I highly suggest you get something in the oven. Ugh, if they would just let me use my magic, I would be done by now. Don't worry, Elsa, you got this. You don't need magic. So tell me, Doug, are you a fan of the Frozen movies? Uh, well, yes, actually I am. I was kind of hoping Olaf would be here. It's pretty hard not to take that personal. Olaf really wanted to be here, but a hot kitchen and neon lights is no place for a snowman. Oh look, chocolate chips. Anna, chocolate chips are not in the recipe. Uh, okay, I see you got them anyway. Never mind. What do I know? Mmm, this chocolate's really good. What kind is this? That's the cheap stuff. This show has major budget issues. 
Huh, that's interesting. Ooh, my cake's done. Here we go. Anna's cake is coming out of the oven. Well, that's good. Let's hope Elsa gets hers in now. Mmm, this smells amazing. Okay, my cake's in the oven. Now what? 20 minutes left, ladies. 20 minutes. I'm a little nervous about decorating this cake. I don't know if I spread the frosting with a knife or if I just pipe it. If only she would just read the instructions. And she said she's a queen. Yikes. My frosting looks really good, but I think I need to pull my cake. I'm running out of time. Right now, I am rolling out my unicorn horn. Oh, oh no, my chocolate. Anna definitely cares more about that chocolate than she does her cake. That's true, Doug. And look at Elsa. It looks like her cake is very underdone, but she had to take it out because she's running out of time. Speaking of time, contestants, you have 10 minutes left. 10 minutes. She's never gonna finish. I don't even know what to do right now. My cake is underdone. I don't have anything to present to the judges and Anna is killing it over there. Just do your best, Elsa. You got this. They're also judging the decorations. Just make it look really good. Oh, that's true, Anna. Thank you. Mmm, mmm, this chocolate is so good. Yuck. I have no choice but to just decorate my cake in this pan. It's just too sloppy to come out. It's half cake, half batter, which is pretty gross. I cannot stop eating this chocolate. It's just, it's so good. Ladies, you are both doing great. You have three minutes left. Three minutes. Make sure you add all of your details. I'm pretty happy with my cake, so I'm just gonna keep eating this chocolate. Mmm, they're so good. Mmm. Anna, can I borrow the fondant and those eyeballs? I don't have time to make a bunch of different colors of frosting. Ooh, chocolate. Of course, take whatever you need. I'm done with all of it. Hey, hey, hey. Don't forget that's your competition. Don't help her too much. She's my sister. We do everything together. What's mine is hers. Aww. 30 seconds, ladies, 30 seconds. Thank goodness. I can't wait until this is over. Mmm, seriously, this is so good. This is, this is so good. Mm. Yum. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up. Whew. I cannot wait to go home. All right, ladies, get your cakes ready for judging. Anna, put that chocolate down. Mmm, one more bite. One more bite. Okay, Anna, we're going to start with you. Just as a reminder, this is the cake you are trying to replicate. And now let's see what you've made. Nailed it! That's a sad unicorn. Oh, Anna, that's very cute. But it looks like it's crying. It must have run out of cheap chocolate. Well, you have most of the elements that you need. You have a cake, a horn, multiple colors of frosting, but you're missing the ears. Oh no, I forgot the ears. I must have just run out of time. Anna, I think your cake looks really good, but you can't use time as an excuse to not do the ears. You did spend the last five minutes eating chocolate. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Well, Doug, let's try it out. Oh, uh, well, Anna, it it looks like a cake. It, it, it smells like a cake, but it tastes like sugary cardboard. I have to agree. This cake definitely looks better than it tastes. I think you missed a lot of ingredients, including the eggs and milk, pretty much all of the wet ones. So it's actually pretty amazing that your cake came out this way. I have no idea how you did that. That's a very good point, Avery. Anna, how did you get this cake to rise without the necessary ingredients? All I saw you use was flour and sugar. Are you sure you weren't using any magic? I don't have magic. I'm just an ordinary person. 
I guess I just got lucky. Okay, well, well done, Anna. We're going to move on to Elsa now. Okay, Elsa. Just as a reminder, this is the cake you are trying to replicate. And now let's see what you've made. Nailed it! Elsa, you know what a unicorn looks like, right? Yeah, of course. Really? Because it seems like you don't. This looks like a very, very sick bird. <laughs> well, I, I definitely see that now. I guess I was just throwing things together last minute. Well, that's okay. This is far from the worst thing we've ever seen. Let's try it out. Well, aside from being very underbaked, it has a very nice flavor. I agree, it tastes pretty good, but I think we might get a little tummy ache later. All right, ladies, give Avery and I a minute and we will discuss who the winner will be. Good luck, Elsa. You did great. Thanks, Anna. But you really killed it out there. I think it's obvious you're going to win. Hey, I think we're both gonna leave here winners. High five. Okay, ladies, we've come to a decision. Since neither cake tasted good, Anna, your cake was definitely missing some ingredients, and Elsa, your cake was underdone, we decided to base our judgment on your decorations. And that means the winner is Anna. Thank you, thank you. And Anna, since you are a filthy rich queen, we will be donating your $10,000 prize to a charity of your choosing. That's amazing, thank you. And you won't be leaving here empty handed, Anna. As a thank you for coming on our show, we are gifting you a year's supply of this absolutely disgusting chocolate that you can't stop eating. Yum, thank you. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and go to our channel to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.